High Court in Banjul presided over by Justice Ibrahim Ajayte has on Wednesday sentenced Yankuba Toure, a former junta member of that, to that by hanging. The verdict comes after the court ruled that Yankuba has not provided substantial evidence to exonerate himself from the prosecution and conviction. The prosecution brought about nine witnesses to, wit to testify in the case, with only two witnesses appearing for the defense. An unexpected pronouncement hits the atmosphere as Justice Ibrahim Ajayte passed the verdict in the much-awaited murder trial of Yanko Bature, an ex-army captain and a former junta member of AFPRC. Having found the convict guilty of murder, guilty of mu the murder of Usman Koro Sise in cold blood, and having considered that this court does not have any discretion on the section 1, 88 of the criminal court, the convict Yankuba Ture is hereby sentenced to death. And uh, pursuant to section 252 of the criminal procedure court, the said sentence of death shall be by hanging. Exhibits from Esa Mendi, Paha Bimbai, and Alajikani all corroborated that Yankuba had a hand in Kurosis's death, according to Justice Chaite. The body of late Korosise was charred according to witnesses and Toure has been accused of tampering with evidence to save his neck from prosecution. The law knows that there are instances and circumstances where an accused person takes measures to destroy the body in order to avoid prosecution or conviction if prosecuted. Accordingly, there is evidence that a human being was killed by another human being. The latter can be convicted when the body of the former is not found. The important consideration is whether there is nexus between the accused and the killing of the victim. In order to the extent that the court comes to the conclusion that it is the accused who killed the disease. The judge said Yankubatura's defense failed to present a tangible alibi as where he was when the said murder took place and refused to cooperate with the police investigation by relying on the constitutional immunity. The accused person refused to speak to the police and simply invoke constitutional immunity. That never was. I have looked at Exhibit A, the cautionary statement of the accused person, and made no mention of his whereabouts on the night in question or thereabouts when the offence was committed. Justice Jaide said Yankubature has conspired with Alaji Kanye, the two Singate brothers, Edward and Peter, Tumbul Tamba, BK Jata, and Pa Aliu Gomez in the murder of Osman Korosise. In June 2019, the defense entered a no-case submission, but this was dismissed and on November 2, 2020, the High Court rejected the immunity clause that Yanko Bature was clinging on and referred it to the Supreme Court for ruling. On 27 January 2021, the Supreme Court ruled that Yanko Bature was not entitled to constitutional immunity of the alleged murder of Osman Korosise and directed the High Court to proceed with the alleged murder trial. As the defense for Yanko Bature said they will be appealing for the verdict, many have described Justice Chaita's ruling as a landmark judgment towards delivering justice for the victims of 22 years of dictatorship. Jamie's victims, whose hope for justice is hanging by a thread as the fate of TRRC remains unknown, welcome the verdict and hope that Barolet administration will implement the recommendations of the Truth Commission. Fatumata Jajo for iAfrica TV News.